In this video of JavaScript, we are going to start the switch statement. As in the previous video, we noticed if we are passing multiple conditions using if statement, each condition is being checked one by one only if the previous conditions were false. But if I'll talk about the switch statement, here the things are quite different as initially we will pass any expression or a variable and that will be having a that will return a particular type of value and on the basis of that value type i will add the multiple cases whichever is the appropriate case is there in the switch statement that particular case statement will get executed as here you can see it is not coming one by one it will directly come onto that respective case but if none of the case is satisfying the switch, then the control will come to the default block. So let's see practically how can we start writing this switch statement. So in this particular program, what I'm doing is I'm taking a single character from the user and I'm comparing whether that is a vowel or a consonant. So for doing that, first of all, I'm taking a user input using the prompt box and we'll make sure like whenever we'll enter something, it will just be a single character and I'm storing that in a variable called ch. So after taking the value, I'm passing the ch in this switch argument so that whenever the switch uh, statement will be executing, only the value of this particular expression or variable will be compared. Apart from this switch uh, ch, we can also pass an expression maybe using any operators. But here I'm just passing the single value, but it must be evaluating a value. So here, what you can see is I'm just checking it with the case keyword. So I'm checking whether the value inside the switch is a or e or i or o or u. So whichever value would be there in this switch uh, variable, the ch variable, that particular statement will get printed. For example, if I enter o, so o is vowel will be printed. But as I said earlier, whenever this execution will take place, the line by line case checking will not be happening, but the control will directly fall into this case particular case which is getting satisfied with the value stored by this variable. So let's execute first and see how this output is running like. Uh, so yep, here is the file. So here I'm entering a value, let's say O. And here you can see the message O is vowel. If I'll enter anything apart from A, E, I, O, U, you can see the message def special character or consonant. But where does it comes from? It is coming basically from the default. Like in the if statement, when all the conditions are false, at last the else statement gets executed. Similarly, in the switch, when all the cases are false, finally the control will fall in the default statement. As I said, it is not getting executed line by line, so prop. Uh, means uh, most of the time we put the default in the last but basically syntactically you can put it in any particular position so let's execute it again I'll refresh it and I'll pass u so again you see u is vowel is printed so basically what's the reason if I have placed default before the case u then if it is executing line by line then this default statement must be printed but as I said like whichever case is particularly uh, getting satisfied with this particular value evaluated from this variable or expression that case will be printed from here so uh, that is why we can see the output is still fine even if we have placed the default before the case if you have multiple cases on which you want to execute the same set of statement, you can shorthandly write the switch statement like this. As here, you can see I have placed all the cases like case A, E, I, O and U all together and after that here I am giving a common definition. And still I am using this break keyword in order to terminate the particular case. So here, uh, this ch means whichever value you will be entering if 
it is a part in this list like A E I O U, then that particular value will be printed along with is vowel message. So when I will re-execute this, you can see still it is working fine like E is vowel, then if I will enter I, I is vowel. Alright, and if I will enter anything else, then special character or consonant. So this is how we have written this program of switch and this is how it executes. So you can basically use this switch statement whenever you are making some menu like options in your program or in any interface where you want to put the uh, multiple matchings using the case.